Hi everyone, welcome back to Enigma Inc. So today we're going to do Aquarius regular read for January 2021. Let's see what's going to happen with you. Oh, this card coming up. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius. This is a reading. Please spare my voice. I'm a little down with cold. So, yeah. I would sound a little different, though. <coughs> Bear with that. Follow me on Instagram for January horoscopes that are coming up. December horoscopes are already up. Short pick a card readings and much more. Follow me on uh, YouTube, subscribe to me on YouTube and hit the bell icon if you like what I do and if you want to watch such videos more. For personal readings, I'm available on WhatsApp or Instagram. Let us do Aquarius. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Ooh, someone from the past very clearly wants another chance with you, Aquarius. They will come back. Okay, asking for another chance. They are going to let you know that they're safe and they're not someone who will cheat you. Maybe they're one of your friends who wants to take this to another level. Or they'll reach out to you through your friends or friends. Like that. <clears throat> Codependency. This is this person who is just addicted to you. Okay. Maybe they were your friend and you guys were addicted to each other and then this person wants something more because they've realized that there's more to this connection. But I do see this person's kind of obsessed with you. Please, please. Hmm. Ooh, I feel like Aquarius, you're trying to move out of this connection. You don't want this connection to work because maybe you've suffered a lot in this. But this person wants to come back. Okay. Yeah. This connection became very sad recently. So you wanted to leave this connection. But I do see like this person is passionately obsessed with you. And they want to revive this connection. They want to come towards you. Ask for a new beginning. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, yes, they have feelings. Yeah, they're going to express you how they feel for you, basically. All right, so basically they're going to express their true feelings. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Gemini. Mm. yeah they have love for you scorpio Pisces, cancer very strongly aquarius they have love for you they're missing you they're feeling like crying when you're not there and i feel uh aquarius wants you to take the decision in this situation once you've taken the decision you're sticking to it but this person is not liking that they want another chance. They want to be back. They want to give it their whole. They want to start afresh. They want a new beginning. Okay. They have a lot of passion, love. And they want to commit with you. I do see like they want something long term. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is trying hard to balance things out. Because when you left them, they felt very lonely. They felt very depressed. They felt like everything is gone with you. Because then that's when they realized that they were super dependent on you somehow. But I feel this person is coming very fast without wasting their time. And they're going to ask you for total commitment. They're ready to compromise on certain things. They're ready to accept their mistakes and they want to balance things between you guys. I also see an engagement happening with this person or they're sending you a proposal like that. This person is uh, someone who thinks, who's a very calculative mind. They're very sharp. They're very calculated. They know how to speak. They know how to convince a person. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, they're rushing in towards you. I feel like some of you Aquarius... Ooh, you may have blocked them. The moment you block them, that's when they realized how much you meant to mean to them. Okay, so they have a major crush on you. Okay, they just cannot think about anything else. They just can't even process in day to day life because they're so used to you. And I feel like uh, you're ignoring them. You may be thinking like they have someone else in their life. You may be, 
you know, uh, doubting on them. But I feel like they will, they will make every possible uh, effort to convince you that there's no one in uh, their life and you're the only one. And uh, yeah, this person is safe for you. And I feel like they're making all the efforts. They're working a l harder to get more money. But I do see like with you, they feel like this is a soulmate. Okay, they see you as their ultimate soulmate, like you're everything for them. Okay, um, Aquarius, this is a very clear energy that I get. But I feel this could be a Gemini as well, interested in your Cancer. However, this person is very much into you, okay, Aquarius. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Even I think this was six of pentacles, right? This is six of... They want to offer you. They want to offer you happiness. They want to offer you financial security. They want to offer you everything. Because they feel like you're the only person that deserves everything they have to offer. Okay? So they love you deeply. And I feel like this is very visible in the reading. There are a lot of emotions towards you. Like they want to talk to you like 24-7. They just cannot live without you or something like that. I feel they also want to shower you with gifts. I feel this person feels happy when you're around because they see that there's no one else who can take your, your place according to them. They may have said this to you many times. But now they've actually eventually realized it. And they're ready to not make a mistake this time and prove you their love, okay? This, they know that God has sent you for them. That's how they feel. Acceptance. So I feel like they'll come towards you to accept their offer. Okay, finally, it will be up to you, Aquarius, if you want to accept them or not. Because they will be ready to accept their mistakes and mold themselves according to you. Aquarius, please. Okay. Don't let the past hold you back. I feel like something in the past happened between you and this person or you had a very bad past because of which you cannot trust them. So I feel just uh, keep the past in the past. That would be much better if you want to live happily ever after. So this is like, this is the kind of a person who wants a happily ever after with you. All right. Yoga. So I feel like your chakras may not be balanced. You're feeling very overwhelmed by a lot of things. You may not be able to um, exercise things like how and what needs to be done or what is right or what is wrong. Right now, you're just simply... All your energies, your energy is everywhere and chakra is overactivated. So you need to relax yourself by doing yoga or meditation. Trust that God has sent you for uh, helping you. For God has sent, uh, sorry, this person to be there for you. Trust this process. And I feel like you need to change your mind and reconsider this connection if you can. Okay, let us see more. Hmm. What are the messages for Aquarius? Hmm. All right, deep emotional healing. I see like the moment this person comes towards you and you do yoga and meditation, that's really going to uh, help you heal. Your prayers will be answered. Maybe you ask for this person deeply, subconsciously. This was a life lesson that was meant for you to learn so that you can understand the importance of a person or a situation. Okay, let us see more. Aquarius. Whoa, some of you are getting married finally or you're going to say yes to this. Mm -hmm. Aquarius, I feel like uh, this person is a long distance person for some of you. And uh, you may have to travel to them or they may have to travel to you. So there's a traveling involved. So there's, there's some uh, distance between you guys. And I feel like uh, you are the one who's getting to decide what you need to do next. Okay. So you will be the one who gets to decide your course of action. Okay. So you decide in the end. 
this could be a Libra that you're dealing with and I feel like you're the decision maker here yeah because you have options you do have options and I do see like a lot of joy and stability is coming into your life uh, a lot of relaxation emotional stability and with that you're going to be very successful if you keep on working hard some of you may have to relocate for a job or work something like that later on but with a lot of fours over here you may see a lot of four here okay so this is like uh, three times four you're going to be extremely stable and angels are very close to you helping you guiding you and you're on the road to success definitely you're following your intuition you're following your psychic abilities and i also feel aquarius your solar plexus chakra is going to be very very powerful so it's better to wake up in the morning early morning okay and go out for a walk that will really help you stabilize so that's the reading for my Aquarius. I hope you've enjoyed it. And it, if you did, do not forget to like this video and share it with these five of your friends. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and mention the comment section how this resonated. Till then, we'll see you next time. Bye.